<laughs> Does that mean it's good? <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to our Monday night chat. Sorry, Sam has a new way of signaling which camera we're on. It's pretty funny. She's got a candle back there. She's like pointing at things with a flameless candle. Uh, so, welcome to our Monday night chat. We have so many beautiful things coming up for you this week. It was funny because we were all looking through everything, and everybody said, Oh my gosh, this week. <laughs> So many cute things. I can't even stand it. Uh, we do have a lot to get to this week. And one of the things that's always fun is um, to give something away. So we're going to do that tonight. But first of all, I just want to remind you that this is a preview. This is not every detail of every item. This is a preview. So it's an overview. It's just a quick kind of just uh, kind of showing you a million things that are coming up in the week so that you know there are things you're not going to want to miss. Um, when it comes to every detail of every item, that's going to be in the preview blog the night before that's ready to shop for. The preview blog is one of the best reasons to subscribe to our email. If you subscribe to our email, which you can do on our homepage, LiseRobertson.com, and it has email at the top. Um, you can subscribe to our email every time there's a new boutique every time there's new shopping you get an email so at noon eastern time every day you're going to get an email that says here's what you can shop for now every evening monday through thursday 8 p.m eastern time there's a boutique you get an email that says here's what you can shop for right now if it's an evening that doesn't have a boutique you still get an email that says here's what you can shop for tomorrow every evening email has a link to the preview blog for the next day so that's one of the best reasons to be on our email list. All right, David, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, David Markstein um, is joining us. David's been in the jewelry industry for All many years. years. Started as a child. Um, I did. And David has chosen what we are going to give away this evening. What have you chosen, David? So this I had is to, all up to you. I they wanted, like it or they hate it. It's all up to you. I wanted to pick something that would be prominent that you would see. Something that was mm -hmm. kind of happening in the jewelry industry, and it's kind of weird to think about this, but I chose this beautiful herringbone that's coming up because yes. it's a very bold, uh, larger size, and I thought it was beautiful. It's a splash of, of gold uh, on the neckline, mm -hmm. and it's very flexible, fluid, and we'll talk more about it, but... Um, so it's the 18-inch. 18 18-inch 18 inch in yellow. In the yellow. And that's card. what we are going to be giving away this evening. And the way that we give it away, because there's always confusion, um, yes. is we are going to choose a comment at random after the chat. Not during the chat, after the chat. Yes. You have to comment between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Time during this one hour. And then after the chat, we'll go back and just randomly pick a comment. And whoever gave that comment will edit the post at the top. So right yes. now it says something like, what does it say tonight, Sam? Welcome to the Monday Night Chat or something. What does it say? Oh, uh, yes. Join us for another fabulous chat. There you go. Join us for another fabulous chat. Um, but there you go. after the chat, when we choose the comment that wins, then we'll edit that. So yeah. if you go back, you'll see it'll say, you know, join us for another fabulous chat. But then it'll say, congratulations, so-and-so. You've won a beautiful herringbone. Please send us an email at customercare.com. So if you do not see your name yes. in that post after 9 p.m., you did not win. But it's okay because there's always next week. Um, That's right. But we choose a comment at random, which means the more often you comment, the more chances you have to win. And I don't know about you, but I like winning. So. And I love that we're doing this one special item. I got to tell you, this herringbone, gorgeous. Gorgeous. I mean, oh my gosh. I don't think you can get um, stunning. Boulder. It's just it's it's a Beautiful. splash of gold on like my very very fluid flexible. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy that we can do this. Oh, love. And I love the fact that again three sizes and three and two colors if. If you're interested, I think it's beautiful. Wow. So hearing bones, um, you know, they, you know, you know the old saying, every dog has its day. Yeah. I would always say every classic has its has its day. Yeah. In that, you know, when you look at a lot of what the trends are, every time there are trends, some of those trends are classics that just happen to be the hottest thing right then. Absolutely. So every classic, it's a classic because it never goes out but it's still sometimes the hottest thing going. You, and a herringbone is that. It's so. amazing. So when you hear herringbone, like, well, I own a herringbone from 1970 or 
Right. It, every it, it has really made a resurgence in the industry, and mm -hmm. it's amazing because you're seeing it in all the fashion magazines now. And I think one of the reasons for that is they're layering it with everything. Yeah. And so it's part of the whole mix of individualizing your own jewelry, layering all that stuff that's happening. So gorgeous. Um, all right. So I'm told to keep you on task tonight because <gasps> uh, we have a lot to get to, and I could just talk about this for. Well, an Kate hour. was supposed to do that the other week. I think I did okay. <laughs> she just I passed it on to you. Yes. Look, if I were easy to manage, my life would have been so different. Um, so good luck with that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start out with some yes. beautiful pieces of jewelry. And we wanted to start out with some things that are advance orders, yep. some things that are going to go away after this chat, yep. um, some really, really special things. And one of them is this Voila. ring. Voila. I love this ring. Um, we carried it the other week, and it was so popular Oh yeah. that by demand, did a favor, made some calls. Um, and we were able to get this again as an advance order. And I understand why it was so popular, Lisa, because it's 240 individual diamonds that are hand set in this handmade ring with the hearts going both directions. Very fluid. I love the satin finish next to those cognac diamonds. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just a beautiful ring. It's, it's a bolder style and please, order your size on this yes we've done all the work for you you don't have to worry about that just if you are a size seven order a seven and you know we really do um we pay close attention on any ring so that you should always order the size you normally wear yeah um and it's a little bit of extra research that we do yeah. when it comes in it's not what size is it it's how does it fit yes. because that's what's going to make the difference for you and so sometimes if you're going to wide buy, buy a wide band you're guessing you're like oh well should i get my size should i get a size up and i don't know it's a wide band i don't know don't panic We've done it all for you order your size yeah. you're going to be good so these are real diamonds this is beautifully done over circle over sterling silver and i have to say that the texture the texture the finish on this is so beautiful in between the diamonds that it really makes the gold look like it's almost solid 24 karat it has such a richness to the color because of the texture and the diamonds are gorgeous so i love this ring yes i know you guys love this ring we had it on uh, once and literally it was an outpouring of oh my gosh i can't believe it's already gone i what that's not possible when are you getting it back i really Thank want you. one and, and there's so almost two carats. David caved. Almost two carats of diamonds, Lisa. And what I love is we we make it go eternity, meaning all the way around. We don't stop the design, right? We just, right. You know that would be like let's save some money. Let's let's just make it on top, and it's still a beautiful ring. We wanted it to be fluid, so that no matter where you turn it, no matter where you're wearing it, you always see that design on top. It is beautiful, and I have to say, obviously, it's an advance order. So it's not going to be here for Valentine's. Yes. It's an advance order, meaning this goes away. This order goes away at the end of this chat, right? But then they're going to make it for you because you ordered it. Yes. So I do think that even though it's not going to be here for Valentine's Day because it's an advance order, I think it's a nice little Valentine's Day gift to look forward to when it arrives. So true. Really yeah. true. And you know, you should get it for yourself. Don't wait for someone else. Yep. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to you. You're fabulous. Okay. So we got um, a lot of goodies on here. Oh, okay. Okay. So we also, now at noon today, yes. we had two of the most beautiful advance orders that started. Um, I'm wearing one of them yes. in the earrings in, in the yellow, and here we have them in the white. But once again, just like this ring is mm -hmm. diamonds, these earrings are diamonds, and these are done by the same factory. Yes. So this is a factory that does every single step by hand. So you really, really oh my gosh the workmanship is amazing unbelievable and again it's it's these beautiful hand-set cognac diamonds and i love this because it's set in a wider huggy hoop earring the huggy earrings imply that they're close to the ear doesn't mean that they're small and diminutive because this is very wide and covers up the earlobe and i love that about these that they're not you know so small you can't see them but yet they're not going to get in your way they're not fussy um and they're just really beautiful and th the the light hits them from all angles i've been watching you all night as we're prepping for this we do a lot of prep oh why did they liked me and um, it was the earrings the whole time it was, the earrings. It was the earrings. i was mesmerized oh man you too but the earrings yeah, right. <laughs> uh so anyway this is a beautiful um yeah. statement you're making and i i love that we were able to bring this back again 
So these are beautiful. And by the way, they hinge at the bottom, so they just open. They're so clean, yep. so beautifully done. And they are just that perfect earring on the ear. If you're a girl who says, okay, I love all the look of diamonds, but I really want diamonds, these are diamonds. Yep. Um, if you have, you're gonna be wearing a mask, maybe you go to work and you're taking it off and on, never be in the way. Um, maybe you you know, just like to wear higher necklines, like yep. turtlenecks, and you don't want an earring that's going to be in the way. This is gonna be perfect. Maybe you're just the kind of girl who says, you know what, I just wanna throw on one pair of earrings yeah. and, and leave them on. I don't want to have to think, hey, am I going here? Am I going there? What am I doing? I just want a pair of earrings like my Desert Island, my desert island earrings. Mm -hmm. Wherever I'm going, yep. no matter what I'm doing, they're going to be amazing. These are amazing. Um, oh, hey, and those hey. are going to be in yellow or in white, all handmade. Yep. Cognac diamonds, beautiful. Those are an advanced order and... Oh my this gosh, cross. this cross is so beautiful. And um, so popular. I love this cross. I think it is one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. One of the big trends is black. Mm -hmm. One of the big trends is diamonds and the look of diamonds. One of the big trends is adding a little pop of yellow. And crosses are always a trend in my book. Yeah. So they're all there. And this is this is more of an elongated cross. And I think, you know, cross have of course, a lot of meaning to um, different people, but it does give it a little more edgier look to it with the black set in there, with mm -hmm. the combination of the yellow, all diamonds in there. Um, it's solid. Um, it has this really, um, really wonderful presence when you wear it. That you know, you, you say, okay, well, you wear that against black. It just shows up because of the sparkle. It doesn't matter what you're wearing that against. You know what? I'm gonna borrow this because I have yeah. a high neckline. So I, I just want to try it yeah. on the gray. Yeah, um, that would be beautiful. That I'm wearing, but I do. I love. It's so interesting because I love putting a pop of the black rhodium in my jewelry that I'm wearing along yeah. with the yellow or the white or the rose. Yeah, that looks actually. great. But look how beautiful. I mean, it's so rich and beautiful. And I, I love the fact that, as David was saying, this could be really cool and edgy, or this could be really elegant and sophisticated. Yeah, and for those of you who don't remember the story that we told, this was originally just a, a single bar with the diamonds, mm -hmm. and Lisa saw it and says, you know, it's really cool, but could they make Wouldn't that it cross? Be better? Wouldn't it be cool if they could do that? And I don't know if they could do it or not, but it came out perfect with a so little gorgeous. touch of Gold, yellow on the edges and mm -hmm. the diamonds all set up and down either way so it's really beautiful I have to say that one of the things that um, I think a lot of people don't realize and obviously you wouldn't unless you're here working with us um, is how much we interact with all of these jewelry factories yeah um, their design teams their designers the factories themselves you know we're always going back and forth with what about this idea what about this concept what about this mm -hmm. can you do this and and we're literally looking at different inspirations putting different things together and then david knows what factory would do the best job on that yep. this should go to that factory this should go to that factory this should go to that factory um because you and, always want the best factory yeah. for each product you're doing and you want somebody who's going to do the best diamond yeah. setting yeah best for this you setting. want you know you want someone who's going to do exactly the right color and black rhodium and, and anyway so i love the fact that we do that because then we're going to have things that nobody else has as well as beautiful beautiful things that everybody wants so anyway love this cross this is an advance order absolutely gorgeous cannot get enough of it love it love it love it um so these started at noon yeah the diamond earrings and this beautiful cross yes. These started at noon. These are both advanced orders. Yes. They are by popular demand, hugely, hugely popular. We had um, a few beautiful floral embroidered shawls at noon. Yes. Those have sold out. Um, so just to let you know, that is a preview of how fabulous this week is going to be. It's just unbelievable. Gangbusters. So good. A lot of showstoppers. And then coming up tonight, since we're kind of on yep. where we yep. are, let's talk about what's coming up tonight and then we can go into some of the other beautiful things for the week. So often you'll hear the word couture. Couture can mean a lot of different things to a lot of people, but really what it refers to is the highest end designers of jewelry anywhere, not just this country, they could be, you know, Italy, wherever you are, but they take designs and they are sometimes statusy, they sometimes represent looks that that are so designer influenced and this ring um, has that appeal because it's that blue enamel, genuine enamel, because there's a lot of other enamels that are not made this way. Um, and it's set with the starburst, um, as Lisa's showing you here, with the stones on the border of it. Um, it just has a wonderful presence, and I love this color blue, Lisa. It's with the so enamel. rich. It's this beautiful, deep, saturated blue. It's not 
black. Yep. It's not cobalt. It's that perfect, deep, in-between, rich blue. And I love it in the Starburst. And I love it in the Cross. And I love that we have the matching earrings. All and done by hand, by the way. Gorgeous. All coming up tonight. Yep. But wait, let me show you what they go with. Because Kate and I were so excited about this. And we saw Ooh, all I know, this like, is so, oh, I know. I know exactly what we're going to show. Stop. It's so fabulous. Okay. So. Oh, yes. This sweater <laughs> with this earring and this ring. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. um, this is a beautiful gray sweater with different tones of blue. And then it has this kind of softer, distressed, almost champagne with the rose. Isn't that gorgeous? They really do go well Oh together. my gosh, so rich. And a brand new pair of jeans, beautiful skinny jeans, um, no distressing. Wait until you see them, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and those are the ones, Kate, that are, um, they're unfinished on the edge, right? They are. Yeah, so that means you can wear them with your sandals. Yeah. You can, they can be a little shorter. I mean, very, very forgiving. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this is an outfit yes. coming up at 8 p.m. Absolutely. And any of the pieces are beautiful. And it just, the blue is so rich. And one of the things that we have seen in Italy for a long, long time yeah. is, oh, by the way, this is gorgeous. All the way around just to show you. Um, one of the things we've seen in Italy for a long time is that really high-end enameling is so beautiful. It's such an art form. It's so yes. demanding. It's so hard to find. It's in the most expensive pieces of jewelry. And now we're seeing it kind of really starting to come into its own yeah. uh, around the world. And it's just, it's always been this kind of, it's something that an educated jewelry person has known about, yep. but you haven't seen everywhere especially done well and I love that we're starting to see it done in more ways and yep. really see how beautiful it can be but we, we have not done a, we have not oh. done a lot of it because it has not been done very well and yes this one this time they did a great job so we're demanding okay um, Kate's keeping us on track yes 18 after uh, where do you want to go next let's do this right front Ooh. center because this is funny how this came about so <laughs> Interestingly enough, this is a bracelet a that um, that we absolutely loved, and this was done by our friends in Italy, and um, Kate was wearing it. Yes. So she wears it in the office, and I look at him like, I love that. We should do that. And I said to David, we should picture. do that. You sent me a picture. Yeah, I took a picture of her wrist. I sent it to David. He said, yeah, you're exactly right. And he talked to our friends in Italy, and they sent us the sample immediately. Yes. So yes. this is an advance order. This is your choice of four colors. This is your choice of four lengths. Yes. Small, average, large, extra large. Yes. Small, average, large, extra large. And this is the most beautiful, rich, unbelievably textured bracelet ever. And it even has the lobster claw in the texture. Only the way the Italians can do it. I mean, this is such a beautiful texture. And I love the fact that they did it in a triple Rolo, not just one Rolo. And when I when I made that call over to Italy, they didn't have four colors lying around. I mm -hmm. said, you've got to get me four colors of this. And they quickly did a, you know, called in a favor to the factory and just made things, made things happen. And voila, we have four bracelets here. But um, the combination of these just together, just the mm. beautiful rose, this black is stunning. Oh my gosh. So to do this couture look in black is phenomenal. Here it is in the rose. The rose is very Italian. The Italians have always loved rose gold. Um, the first time I went to Italy, I was absolutely floored by the amount of rose gold that I yep. saw because I didn't see it here in the States much. This is beautiful. I love wearing more than one together. I love this. If you're saying, you know what, I get the classic and the rich and the blah, 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 but I'm a white metal girl. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Seriously, look at that. That is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. This looks like, well, you know, we came in on the private plane and my, my, my pilot was late again. It was a disaster. And, the, and I went to the couture store and just saw this gorgeous little piece of plaid. And I thought to myself, why not, girl? It's been a hard day. You know, it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, this, this is some serious weight. You would find this on the Ponte Vecchio if you're yeah. walking to a window, and this would be that first piece I gotta of jewelry try. that you would buy. Sam picked it, she goes, wow, that's got some weight to it. I'm like, yes, it does. And isn't that nice that it feels good, just like it looks good. And as David was saying before I so rudely interrupted him, it is exactly what you would see on the Ponte Vecchio. And it's one of the things I just want to stress is that the same factories that do these beautiful, beautiful pieces for the Ponte Vecchio, make these beautiful pieces 
for us. Now the difference is if you go to the Ponte Vecchio, they're going to be 18 karat gold and they're going to be thousands of dollars. Yes. And you should get one if you can because yes. that's a once in a lifetime thing. However, if you want exactly the same factory, exactly the same craftsmanship, exactly the same finishing, exactly the same labor, and you'd like to save a lot of money, um, then you can work with us because the same factories will do it in 18 karat gold over silver, 18 karat gold over bronze, so that you can afford to yeah. have something that is truly stunning. Ah, oh, I could have said it better. <laughs> got to move. I know, and this was another one where we, I had to go hunting for this in the house because I had stolen it. And I was wearing it earlier. And by the way, I'm like a squirrel. She'll take and it the back bathroom is where I squirrel things away. <laughs> I'm not, oh, I left that in my bathroom. I'm not seeing that again, by the way. No, it's no, gone. You're not. It's gone. After this it's chat, gone. I'm like, <laughs> it could I don't even tell you I ordered two, so I knew you take you're one. You're probably smart. Like, All right, so then this herringbone. So this is, again, David has decided. This was David's choice of what somebody was going to win tonight. We're going to choose a comment at random from someone who comments between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern time. And that person is going to win the 18-inch yellow herringbone. And this yep. herringbone, oh my gosh, be still my beating heart. You put it on. It is so gorgeous, wide, beautiful, stunning, 16, 18, 20 inches yellow or white. Yep. And I think one of the things I love about it, I'm going to grab one of these mm -hmm. to show you, is herringbones have come a long way. You think about yes. it. We don't talk about technology very often, so I'm going to let Sam kind of get in here. Look how this drapes. The older, they call this a compressed herringbone mm -hmm. and the old here let me pull this up a little bit the old herringbones would never have draped like this so you see this and how fluid it is it just kind of like this it was very stiff in the old days mm -hmm. and now it is fluid and flexible and contours to your neckline so you see that and this is what has happened today in the world of technology and jewelry with the herringbone which is, again has taken off like yes. I can't believe I, I'm shocked that what goes around comes I around can't because believe it's not um, it. <laughs> and Lisa's wearing one, so let's, let's show it on Lisa because it looks beautiful. Well, I want to put. I know it's not. I'm not wearing quite the right neckline for it, but I just want you to see. Look, it's like a mirror around your neck, and it's like, oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. And then see how it is. This how yep. they're doing it. You're like, how is it going to work? How how am I going to layer it? Don't panic, it's gonna be so easy. The herringbone should sit at the base of your neck. This is a 16 inch, yes, and by the way, say. a 16 inch centered on your neck, if you have an average size neck, will hit exactly as the herringbone should. An 18 inch will hit right here, a 20 inch will hit right here. But when you wear it short, then you wear the necklace below. Yep. Isn't that beautiful? Look how gorgeous that is. And think about in the summertime, when you have a little bit of a tan, or you know, fake tan, like I do, and then you're outside, and there's sunshine, and you look so cute. Oh my gosh. So, let me just say, herringbones like this, it's just a whole new world in herringbone. It's so fresh, it's so beautiful, it's so wearable, it's so confident. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for you to get it. 16, Again, 18, 20, splash, little white. Splash of white. The splash of yellow on the neckline. It's it's, a, it's like it reminds you of an Omega, but right. uh, a very similar quality to that. But it's very fluid. And I love it's just it's like a mirror. Yeah, it's like a mirror. Oh my god, so taking beautiful. pictures was hard. Yeah, <laughs> like, I kept seeing myself in the mirror. Right. Like, no. That's me again. That's me again. Okay. All right. Also, I just wanted to show you one beautiful piece of gemstone. This is a special jewelry. find. That this is a very very special piece. So tell them about this one because the color is amazing. So what's amazing to me is that tanzanite, which is really when I mean, you think about tanzanite, it's it's actually considered an exotic gemstone, and it's be, an exotic because all different qualities you have of this. And if you can get the highest in quality, and look at the saturation of the blue purple. I call it a blue purple because it's not exactly a purple, not a blue, but it, tanzanite has those qualities in it. And this is beautiful because it has five stones graduating the center with this beaded border. It looks almost like there's stones on the border, but it's mm -hmm. actually a beaded texture. And this was something we found. Beautiful. Um, we were able to get a certain amount. I'm very thrilled because you'll you'll be surprised too when you see it mm -hmm. uh, on the page. Mm -hmm. And let me just say, a tanzanite is a thousand times rarer than a diamond. So if yeah. you're going, well, yeah, it's really nice, but I don't know, is it? a thousand times rarer than a diamond. It comes out of only one place in Tanzania. Yep. It is very, very difficult. Um, a lot of the mines in that one area aren't even producing anymore. Yep. And what you're finding, of course, as everything, this was a stone that was introduced to the American market by the store that we love where everything comes in blue boxes. Yes. Um, was it in the 60s or 70s? It was kind yep. of their 
um, their new gemstone. They made it very popular, but as a result, it was gone very quickly. Yes. So the quality is so important, and the quality on this is phenomenal. And this is a Goldilocks love size. I love this yes. size because you can layer with it, do whatever you want to do with it. It's a wear loaner. Beautiful. Finally. Now, we have these beautiful earrings, and I have to say once again, um, when you look at this earring, this is an example of something that we were working with the Italian factory on. And when you see the line, does it help if I do this? Yes, that would be much better. Um, the line, the shape, the, um, the texture, oh my gosh, look at how gracefully it curves. Look at the texture. Look at how it comes up to a softened point, one nests in the other like a teardrop. Look at how it looks like the stones are just floating in midair in between. And exactly. we have it in all three colors, the rose, the white, and the yellow. So beautiful. So beautiful, and the attention to detail, each one of those bezel set stones has been uh, has this brushed satin finish. And I've seen this done a million times in the factory. It is so difficult. You don't do this with a machine. It's a hand tool that you just do it and it creates this finish. It starts off polished and then it creates this finish that's this brushed satin finish and that's what you're getting here. And by doing that, you get this very high, uh, I want to say lux luxurious, very high-end look to it because that's what the 18 karat uh, designers would design in. They would design in this, this brush satin finish. You know, if you think about all of them, if you, you go to any of the high-end department stores, oh, yeah. you're going to see this finish in a lot of these um, it, it reminds me of the one uh, very signature Italian line, starts with a B. Yes. And it always thinking. reminds me of Botticelli. Yes. There just a thought there. Um, so, I just want to let yes. you know that that's coming up and um, I'm, I'm just, I don't want to give up any of these rings. So I'm going to remind you that someone who comments during the chat between seven and eight, we're going to choose a comment at random and they're going to win the 18 inch yellow herringbone, which is gorgeous. Um, so the more you comment, the more chances you have to win. I hope you're commenting a lot because there's, it's really beautiful. Um, then I just want to show you some beautiful, beautiful home that we have coming up in the, some of the fashion. All right. Yellow and blue. Who loves yellow and blue? I do. Um, this is such a beautiful combination of blue and white and yellow. We have these gorgeous, big, beautiful hydrangeas. These are the Bacone hydrangeas. Really, really like you would see in a five-star hotel lobby where they're spending thousands. That's the look and feel there. We have these beautiful yellow ranunculus just to show you how gorgeous the yellow is in there. These mercury glass candle holders, this is a set of two and these are stunning. I love the fact that these are important and big and substantial, but they're the shorter of the sets of two, and I'll show you. So if you wanna put them somewhere to go with shorter things or maybe a nightstand or something like that, this is gonna be the set for you. Cut glass candle holders, you're gonna get a set of two of these. This is the six inch. These are cut by hand. One of them is gonna be cut at a diagonal. The other one is gonna be cut north and south. I'll show you that in the other. Silver around the top. These tulips, soft pastel white, soft white with pastel blue. But it's almost a periwinkle, like a heathery purpley blue with the bottom. It's so beautiful. You're gonna get two bunches of these in an order, and I love them. This beautiful grand vase in the blue and white porcelain, beautifully done in the chinoiserie feel. The chinoiserie was, of course, an era where it was the, the, the Eastern art that was brought into the European function and shape of things, and it created this timeless blue and white porcelain look that we still love today. This beautiful blue and white porcelain <coughs> lid jar with the decorative handle. Isn't that stunning? And again, look how these have different tones of blue, very delicate details. The whole pattern covers, no big fields. This is very, very high end in the workmanship. Then we have the larger two mercury glass candle holders. This is for when you really want a grand statement. Maybe it's gonna be a dining room table, uh, a sideboard where you really want that height at the end. These are big, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, grand mercury glass candle holders and they are beyond stunning. If there's any of these left, they're going up to my room. Uh, I'm just warning you now. Here's the nine inch cut glass candle holders. This one is cut north and south. And again, under here, you're gonna see the same one cut and on a diagonal. So you're gonna get a set of two in the nine inch or a set of two in the six inch. Here are the yellow tulips, deeper yellow at the base, lighter yellow at the top. You get two bunches of those. And then of course the beautiful, beautiful blue hydrangeas over here once again. Now, I don't even know where to begin because we have 
so many cute things. Oh my gosh, I'm torn. I don't know. <laughs> um, huh, huh, huh. Okay, um, so let me show you this, because this is beautiful. Okay, so this um, I absolutely, absolutely love. This is a beautiful Greek key faux fur trim Ruana. You can hook it at the top or you can just wear it open. Is that the cutest? Adorable! And we have it in the beige too. Isn't this the prettiest? I love it. So that's coming up this week and I could not love these more. Thank you so much, Kate. Mm -hmm. um, now, I wanna remind you, coming up at 8 p.m. tonight, the blue enameling um, in that gorgeous, gorgeous jewelry, this amazing that's Fair Isle that. sweater. Yeah, Kate and I are fighting over that one. It's a good thing we don't wear the same size. That'd be a good one. Um, a beautiful pair of skinny that, jeans. Everyone. These are unfinished at the hem and they are made to be that way. They're made to be that way so they're gonna fit a little shorter. If you are a little more petite and you're saying, hey, I like skinny, skinny jeans, but I don't want them bunching at the ankle. These are perfect. If you just like a little more room at the ankle um, because you like that clean look, like, I think that looks really great on Kate. Kate's tall. I think when her pant fits a little shorter, um, she's very elegant, and then you really see the shoe. That's a great look on her. Um, I'm trying to think it was, um, yeah, like Chantal had that same look on today. Lori had the same look. Everybody's doing that look. Um, it's our and uniform. I, I love this because it's just a really clean look, ironically, because it's an unfinished edge. But anyway, um, and it's going to be a darker finish with What's your mess better there? <laughs> it's gonna be a darker finish and it has a little bit of lighter in the front. I wanna remind you, with any pair of jeans or dark pants in cotton, any dark pant in cotton, please wash it a few times because they got dark by dyeing them, okay? So I just don't want you to be sitting down on a white chair for an extended period of time up and down. So any pair of dark jeans, always wash on delicate a few times, just remind you. So, coming up at 8 p.m. tonight. Oh, oh this so is cute so together. cute. Wait for it, wait for it. You're gonna love this, wait for it. <laughs> wait, this is so cute. Mm -hmm. Who's she? Cute. What? Don't try, I don't even try. So, I was just up on the ski lift and I looked down and I said to myself, I'm not going down that mountain. So I came back down the ski lift and that's how I got in the ski lodge having some hot chocolate. Isn't that what it looks like? Is that the cutest? So I love this puffer jacket, Ailey. I call this the Ailey coat. It's Ailey, I love it. So this is so Ailey, because she would look so pretty in this. And by the way, not just Ailey, let me give you a little hint that's a really, really good thing. This color reflects light back up onto your face, oh, yes, which please. makes you look younger. Ailey doesn't need that. So, I do. I do. So I this, do. oh my gosh, and it's the perfect kind of length, and it has the little drawstrings on the side, so you can go more blouson if you want. I just, it's the cutest jacket, and I love it with this bag. So this yeah. bag, this is one of our neoprene bags, and you can wear this so many different ways. Oh gosh, let me just do this. Okay, so. It has just um, a, a, like a piece that you put in the bottom to give it its shape, right? Super easy. And you can carry it just like this. Super cute, ready to go. Adorable, super easy. But if you're saying, oh, I want a tote. Well, then you just unsnap the sides and you pull this out. Tote. Voila, Totes. tote. And if you need a wristlet, what? This one comes in it, and there's even a little dog leash in there that it attaches to, so you're ready to go there. And if you're saying, wait a minute, um, I'm, I want to wear it as a bag, but I don't want it to be structured, no problem. You can just take this piece, because by the way, it snaps at the top too. You can take this piece, take it out, and again, now you have a completely different look in an unstructured bag. So. There's like three or four ways to wear this bag. It's crazy good. And it's really strong. These cords are super strong. I think they could use those on a ski lift. So <laughs> put the support in the bottom where it's structured, take the support out where it's soft, where it's big like a tote, where it's small like a bag. The wristlet comes with it. But I love this one because it has the ivory here, but the white here. You know, you're going, oh, it's not quite the right. Is it ivory? Is it white? Is it no, 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 no. It go 
goes with everything because it has the ivory here and the white with gold in the center. It's the cutest. So love that one. Is there anything else I need to talk about with this before? I was trying to think if there was something. No, okay. There were so many things that looked so good with that little puffer jacket that I couldn't even stand it. Oh, by the way, um, you know what looks good with the puffer jacket is this really cute sweater that I'm wearing. This, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's really soft gray and it has, it has kind of a heathered look. And then it has this little bit of shine in it, like a little bit of silver lorex. It's so cute. It's intentionally distressed at the bottom. That's intentional. Um, and it's just adorable. And then you see the lorex a little bit more where it's a little bit frayed. I've never seen anything like that. I love it. So cute. Yeah. Dreamy. And by the way, um, wait till you see the very, very gemstone collection with this gray. <gasps> oh my gosh. And the angels sang. Um, also, these coated jeans that I'm wearing in the black, these are coming up this week too. Um, oh gosh. Oh, you know what else is coming up this week and it's fabulous? Is this really, really cute black sweater? Oh, and I'm not sure if you so can see it, but it has a V neckline and that has like eyelash trim and a chevron on the sleeve, on the body. Super cute. Everybody is arguing. Look at this with the coated pants, coated jeans. Yes. Isn't that cute? Yes. I know, it's so cool. So that's coming up this week too. Um, oh, you know what else is coming up this week that I think is so fabulous? And this is so great with the black. <coughs> How cute is this? This is a beautiful backpack. It's very chic. It's very Madison Avenue. It's a very, it has a, but it's a little more kind of confident and young, which I love. It's going to be a beautiful low contrast leopard in the black and gray. You got the pockets here. You got the drawstring. You have that beautiful hardware. You can carry it like this. It has, of course, the straps. You can do it a million different ways. How cute! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Adorable. <laughs> Loving that. Um, oh gosh, so many cute ideas. So little time. Oh, wait until you see. This is the prettiest blouse. I'm so keeping one of these. It's ivory, creamy, buttery ivory, and it has this beautiful lace at the top with this little black velvet trim that you can tie if you want to. I like to leave it open because it's not too low. And then a beautiful sleeve, and then look. Isn't that the prettiest with the little detail, the lace, and the, ah, and the little tie at the sleeve? So cute, so cute. I was wearing this today, I didn't want to take it off. So, so adorable, I couldn't even stand it. Um, oh my gosh, there's just so many great things. Oh, these, these absolutely beautiful tribal print cardigans in the black and the ivory. But here's the cool part, here's the cool part. These, by the way, um, are going to be a mid-length. So if you've been saying, I like all the tribal, but it's all really long, and maybe I'm petite, or maybe I don't want to wear a heel, or blah, blah, blah. These, the bottom of the sweater itself is going to come right about to here, and then you got the fringe below that. So it's more of a mid-length, perfect, perfect, perfect okay. for the cardigan. Love it. Oh, you know that black cardigan, I mean, that black sweater that we loved with the eyelash? Look how pretty this is. Isn't this, it's the softest, like, peachy pink gorgeous perfect everybody looks younger color look younger um and i love the soft fuzzy kind of pattern can you see because it's so pretty and it's on the back and it's on the sleeve love 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 oh and then speaking of absolutely gorgeous look at this <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? So this is a beautiful peach with all the gorgeous grays and golds and ivories and creams and tans. Then it goes into the ivory field. Then it has some flowers over there, then trimmed in gray. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is super easy, just on its own. Um, you can throw it over your shoulders. You can, you can put it on a bag, whatever you want to do with it, but it's stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Oh. So speaking of great bags, um, this is our Touch of Couture 2-in-1 tote. Um, and this is a beautiful, soft color. I have to say, every time we have offered one of these that's been gone in about two minutes, so I just want to warn you to keep your eye out on the preview blog so you can set your alarm <laughs> for when this starts because it doesn't last. Um, it's beautifully done. This is done by a company where they take actual Couture bags and they repurpose 
the fabric from those bags. So it's cut out beautifully. It's put on the front. I love that it's just a touch. It's not too much. And I love the fact that this has this bag on the inside. So this is a bag on the inside that comes with a long strap. So you can wear it cross body, long shoulder separately, or you can put it in here, hold it in place with these little straps that go through the loops on either side and snap. And it can be an inside bag to this bag. So you can carry it two different ways. Actually three, because you can carry the big bag on its own, the small bag on its own, or carry them together. Isn't that gorgeous? Loving. By the way, I carried one of these bags to the Atlanta market, and oh my gosh, I had so much stuff in that bag <laughs> that everybody who picked it up went, oh, what in the world is in there? But you know, you have a laptop and paperwork and everything, and it gets heavy really, really fast. Um, and that bag just, it holds up. It does not give up. David, are you ready? Ready. All right. Want to remind you that we're giving away a beautiful herringbone. That um, I chose. The 18 inch in the L that David chose <laughs> for you um, to someone who uh, comments during the chat. So we're just picking a comment randomly um, after the chat, and that person wins that beautiful herringbone. You know, it just keeps getting better and better. Like, you, think, you might think, like, oh, I'm getting all the good stuff first, but it's not yeah, true. It's, it's, like just, it's all so good. I don't even know where to start. I think you should talk about the very oh. very collection because that okay. is something that let me just show these to you next to even though we discussed every gemstone in there i still can't remember and you can so wait okay look at these next to the gray this is so, so beautiful. beautiful it's dreamy okay so what you have in this ring and 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 bracelet in the bracelet you're going to have amethyst three different shades of topaz yes you're going to have um Wait, you're also going to have aquamarine, you're going to have appetite, you're going to have pink tourmaline, all rhodolite, all of those in that bracelet. These are all beautiful natural gems. I think it's over 34 carats of gems, it if is. I recall correctly. Yes. I mean, how unbelievable is that? Now, and the ring is going to have the same combination of stones, I think minus the appetite. Yes. I think there's an appetite in the bracelet, not in the ring, but how beautiful is the ring and the bracelet, and I love them with the gray. And you think about the designer who has to put all of these gemstones together. You think it's like this randomness going on, but it really is a well thought out bracelet. Oh, yeah. I mean, to decide, okay, what gemstones do we wanna put in? I mean, there's all these different gemstones of different, you know, different families, and just, they all look great together because they're all in that kind of blue purple family but it just has this luxury look to it. I mean, it's just like a, you know, I feel like if you were walking into anywhere, grocery store, a party, people would just look at you and say, well, can I see what you're wearing? Because it yeah. just oh looks gosh, so stunning. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. What is that? And the ring is just, on its own, it's just a very beautiful ring. Unbelievable. Uh, to, to itself. So I think, you know, this is, this is what gemstones are all about. And you know, I'm, I love the fact that we've kind of upped our game in gemstones. Mm -hmm. And this is really what it comes down to is being on offer these multi gemstone bracelets that are kind of like fit together like puzzles in a way because they're some, not only are different gemstones, they're different cuts. There's different shapes. Everything about this fits together so nicely. Uh, and the faceting stunning. of it is beautiful. All handwork done on this and it's just absolutely stunning. So I love the fact that we can offer this. It's the kind of thing we can do and it's very different. Yes. You know, so we offer some things that are very classic, some things that are very different, yeah. but because we're a small company, we can do really unusual yeah. things. Yes. You know, we don't have to say, oh, well, that's not everyone, so we can't do it. Yeah. No, that's not who we are. We're not even doing things for everyone. That's not even yeah. what we do. You know, we're definitely doing things that are really, really beautiful and unusual. Now, speaking of beautiful and unusual, yes. this pair of earrings is stunning. And it is the same colors as the cross. Yes. Ta-da! <laughs> so the cross is going to be in the black wording with the touch of yellow. The earrings are going to be in the black with the touch of yellow, but look at the stonework. Again, it's that oh. combination of the black and the yellow. Um, it's set in this very high-end um, um, crystal, but it, the, way it's, the way it's designed in these marquees that go one inside another, one inside another, and, and the pave setting is, is done like all you by wouldn't hand. believe, all, all by hand. All by but, hand. But even by hand, there's different hands that touch pave finishes and this is really top of the line um, when, when you set these stones and everything looks so sparkling 
Um, and I love the fact that we're using a little black in our jewelry because it's what's happening in the world of jewelry today. It's and if you have really dark is. hair and if you're saying, I'd like to have something of black rhodium, but in you know, if it's an earring, it'll disappear. Yep. These don't because of the stonework and the yellow. They do not yep. disappear. They're and stunning. this is from that designer who does everything by hand. Mm -hmm. She's inspired by the 18 karat gold designers around the world. And she brings it in her own element to us. And we do great things with her. And I think this one it just really is beautiful. So from that same designer, I love yes. this look. So oh my gosh, this, this is going to be uh, a pair of earrings that has so much sparkle and so much fire and they don't have to be huge. Yeah. Look at the stonework and you have a baby hoop and then this beautiful, beautiful piece that drops from it and you can take that charm off. Yes, it's big enough that you can take the charm off. So these hoops are great on their own. If, uh, if I were just getting these hoops, I, you know, I'd be so excited because they're so beautifully made with that brush satin finish again. This design uses this finish that is just so high and 18 karat looking. Um, it's the look, this is the look of 18 karat and diamonds, what you would find in couture. It's what you would find everywhere. and. We're bringing it to you. It's very special designs and gorgeous. Um, and and all these charms that are dangling down from hoops are what's happening right now. It's one of the trends I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the hoop. It's about what dangles from that hoop, what drops from the hoop, and it's about you know just having fun with your jewelry. And this is very flattering, and feminine, um, and just a lot of a lot of attention to detail. Now, on a very different note, this ring that I love so much, I'm I think keeping it's so it. Cool. Um, <laughs> definitely keeping it. This is another one. They're like, have you seen the ring? Yep. I squirreled it away. Um, so I love this ring. This is an oval and then a beautiful, beautiful square. I'm not sure if that's a princess cut because I'm looking yeah, at it. Yeah, it's a princess more, cut. It's just stunning. It's surrounded by stones and that the oval is at a slight angle. Yeah. And it's, this is so couture diamond. And it it's is. Look, like if you just got bored with the regular and you had to have something different. Well, you know, I went to my friend and I had these two diamonds that just, just put them together and make something fabulous. I mean, it just yeah. has that, it has that custom made look to it yeah. and we have it in yellow and white and this comes from working very closely with the factories giving them ideas they give you ideas you, co you combine all your your history of, of what you've done in the jewelry industry and you bring ideas like this where you know and, and, and when Lisa mentions well you know that that oval is not quite straight it's a little side that's what makes it special to me and then you have a halo of those stones going all the way around it sparkles but it's very fresh and different I love the double stone together Everything about this is just very unique. I love this ring. Yellow or white on the setting, absolutely gorgeous. I'm keeping this one, uh, but you can get one if you're fast uh, when they go up for sale. Then we have this absolutely beautiful turquoise, and this is not just turquoise, but this is Sleeping Beauty turquoise, yes. which is some of the most sought after high end turquoise in the world. Um, it's not even being mined anymore, so it's very, very difficult to find, but it's known for being this color. If you're saying, wow, that turquoise is so turquoise. Um, yeah. This is absolutely the most intense, beautiful, clean, gorgeous turquoise ever. And I think this is the most wearable, elegant, beautiful way of doing turquoise. I do love this design with the triple oval um, turquoise, but again, Sip and Beauty, I, I, I'll shout it from the roof type tops because the Sip and Beauty mine has closed. And so whatever's left is what they're using as rough and making it, and even so, this is, there's not a blemish on these stones. It's so clean looking. And they combine with this with the white topaz gemstones. Oh, is it white zircon? I believe so. Oh, I thought I just, it was topaz. Well, I'll d let's double check because I want to make sure because they're really sparkly. <laughs> okay. One or the other. But. One or the other. Um, but they're so beautifully done that literally you just look at it and think, oh my gosh. It really is the beautiful color. I would, I would think they were diamonds in looking at them because they've done such they a do. beautiful job of setting them and cutting them and they're stunning. So I love that ring and I have to say, I just think it's hard to, I think in a lot of cases if you think, oh, um, turquoise is southwest. Yeah. No, turquoise has been the darling of the high-end jewelry world for yes. so long. And that ring is amazing. And I like how we set it in yellow metal because everyone thinks turquoise has to be in white. And I don't believe I, that's I true. It. No, it's but the it's state true. pieces, that, always done in yellow. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, I know, Sam, go ahead. I can't really tell. It's like a little dim back there. Oh, the, oh, time. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Poor Sam. She's just trying to keep us all on track. What are you going to do? These earrings are beautifully done in Italy. These are two inches, and I love that it's an oval, but it's an oval that's shaped like a capital um, 
zero and like a large yeah. it just it's a little wider on the sides it graduates. it's really really elegant i love it in all three colors here it is from the side here it is from the front that is italy at its finest rose white and yellow absolutely absolutely and they beautiful. look big but they're not heavy which is i love no, about them too not at all i think we were holding these just oh. to let you know oh. um I'm, gonna, okay. I'm just gonna double check and then this okay. is a beautiful look in an earring where it is literally a smaller crescent like a crescent moon in front with a texture and then the back is actually the butterfly back is attached to a larger yeah. crescent in the back so you have to wear one front and one back and they look so cool yeah and this is something else that's kind of a trend in the jewelry industry right now it's that front to back earring and it's done in so many different ways i do like the fact that this is two crescents coming together so it's very flattering when you wear them it's a left and right meaning that there's a left design and a right design so when you wear them they're facing inward which is what you want in your yes. earrings um, and I do love the combination of the texture and polish. It just really has a lot of 3D dimension to it when you wear them. And I have to say that, you know, these, what's interesting is they work facing both ways. Yep. Like you can face them out, you can face them in, and they really do They really do work fine on both. In a lot of cases, they have to go one, yeah. one way or the other. And I was trying to, I'm like, you know, I like them both ways. Yeah. So um, those are fabulous. Now, this next yes. necklace, um, is another one that I think is so beautifully, beautifully done. And this is that texture that we love in the yellow with that beautiful, beautiful stone presence and the touch of black just to make it Yes, pop. Yeah, and it, it, it really is an exclusive design just done for us. Um, we wanted to offer something that would have the Star of David in it, which is right next to it, uh, and, and the cross. So this is gonna be a choice of, and I think it's really nice. I know that I, I, get, I get a lot of people reaching out, I'm Jewish, and they'll say to me, hey, can you carry something in jewelry for, um, for, for the Jewish people? Mm -hmm. And I think this is a perfect representation of that because um, it has that very high-end design it's really beautiful by this done. designer. Yeah. It's just really, the aesthetic is so nice. It has this stone setting that's really nice. And so this way, I thought doing a choice of this would be really nice mm -hmm. um, and, and, and capture a lot of a bigger audience, of course. But just the fact that it's very pretty, that, that satin it's finish beautiful. that we do in the center. What, what happens is when you use the satin finish with those stones, it just makes the stones pop even more. That's why this designer does this. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that it's a, triple, a double strand because it kind of gives a different element to it too. It yeah. just, just, and it has little stones, a lot of attention to detail, but it's beautiful. So, I, I, and it's interesting because again, I love that we're offering such a variety. Mm -hmm. We have beautiful colors of gems. We have beautiful textures um, in the metals. We have beautiful diamonds or the look of diamonds. Yeah. We have, you know, these beautiful faceted stones. We have the turquoise. We have the big, beautiful Italian pieces. Yeah. We have very delicate pieces. So it really does run the gamut. Yes. I cannot imagine that there is not something in this week for everyone who loves yeah. jewelry, everyone who loves jewelry. Yeah. It is absolutely, absolutely Just we ran gorgeous. the gamut. You know, it's I know. Everything from we could offer. All right, so. I'm gonna go. There you go. Love you, mean it. Um, which is what my friend Jen used to say. Somebody was saying on Facebook, she said, I realize why I like your, your boxes, our jewelry boxes. She said, because they remind me of Joe Movers that would be the black with the gold. And I thought, oh my gosh, they do. Uh, which I consider to be a huge compliment because of course, Joan was, um, Someone that I, I just really loved, just did so many people, obviously. Um, okay, but that's what we used to always say when we are going in there. She would always say that, because I started doing that, Aww. and she would always do that together. Love you, mean it. <laughs> All right, this beautiful coat. When it comes to be wintertime, you need a really good coat. I think a beautiful cloth coat is always very elegant. This is the softest, most beautiful kind of oatmeal color. I love the wider collar, the pockets the belting, you can tie it in the back and wear it open, um, wrap it around, but trust me, this is warm, this is beautiful, this is absolutely, absolutely elegant. This beautiful, beautiful scarf, look how pretty this is. All the different peaches and pinks so and grays happy. and ivories. Oh my gosh, it's so happy, it's so pretty. So soft, so fuzzy, loving that. This beautiful, just classic top. This feels like your pajamas. Really, wait until you try it on, and don't be surprised if you wear it to bed. It's actually softer than a lot of pajamas, to be honest with you. And then, oh my gosh. This is, I think, one of the most beautiful, I mean, just, oh my gosh. 
This is very high end. This is beautifully done. This is not going to be a disposable top that you wear a few times and you throw it away. You invest in this, you wear this a long time, you put it with jeans, you put it with these coated jeans that I'm wearing and boots, Perfect. you look amazing. You dress it up with the pencil skirt. I mean, there is no, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. This is all this beautiful, most high end kind of lace. Nice lace, open work, beautiful. All around the top, going all the way around the back. And yet somehow if you wear a nude tone, like skin tone bra, you do not see it. It is so perfect and so gorgeous. Loving that one. Then this looks like, you know who? What you say to a baby? <laughs> coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> but you start with a G. Um, so it looks so like that, doesn't it? This is a beautiful square in the black and white. It is very couture and it's inspiration. This shape and size um, of high-end scarf is what uh, the high-end French design house is known for. Their scarves are four digits, people frame them. Mm -hmm. That's exactly this one. So you can do this a lot of different ways. You can literally just throw it over a shoulder and that's as easy as it gets, right? It just kind of stays beautiful it's elegant you can tie this around a handbag um, you can double this in a triangle and go over your shoulders isn't that pretty love you can also in the in the summertime wear it as a swimsuit around your um, at the pool there you go so just tie that super easy and by the way, head to toe, swimsuit cover up. Yep. It's how I do it. Love it. Love. Love. So, um, this is going to be your new best friend. Uh, this is also coming up this week. So, we have, I mean, just so many beautiful pieces. Oh, more beautiful home. Look at the geraniums. Look at the butterfly goddess. This is all about bringing the garden inside. Oh, these beautiful, kind of verdigris, hint of verdigris, large metal candle holders and vase, the beautiful tulips, the beautiful pink vase, the lanterns. This is all about bringing the garden inside. Right now, it is cold and dreary and gray. There's not even any, any no snow sun. outside. No sun. Yeah, no there's snow. no sun. <laughs> Ain't no sunshine since, you know, you're gone. Yeah. And um, there's no snow to make it pretty and it's just gray and brown. Mm -hmm. This, I mean, you walk in your house and you feel like you're in the most beautiful garden. Wouldn't that be beautiful? And you never have to worry about watering them or anything. By the way, I love these little geranium because they're in pots. Just so to cute. show you. So tulips, geraniums, lanterns, tray. verdigris candle holders, tray. vases. Tray. Oh, the tray behind the me. Tray. This is the tray, the tray that's in my kitchen that everybody wants. Uh, we're just now getting it back for you. Do not delay. And I love what Kate did. She put these beautiful branches up over it. Feel free to do that. We're gonna offer the branches and the tulips, but that tray, the metal tray, the black trim, the wooden handles, that's also um, coming up this week. So, so many great pieces, so little time. I'm sure we forgot something because we had so much, and I apologize uh, for oh that. God. But um, I do hope that you had a wonderful time. I wanna remind you, give me a few minutes, come back and check um, at, on the chat because we will, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll post the name of whoever posted the comment that was chosen at random to win the 18 inch yellow herringbone. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Don't forget, by the way, subscribing to our email is always the best way to know what's coming up because every evening you're going to get an email and there's a link to the preview blog. That preview blog says, here's what's coming up at noon tomorrow. Here's what's coming up at eight tomorrow so that you know, oh, wait, that's coming up at, oh, th that's coming up at noon. I better set my alarm and be there at noon, right? Like that super cute neoprene, this beautiful, beautiful, sparkling fair owl at 8 p.m. tonight. I can't stand it. Ah, <sighs> enamel, have to. The blue enamel, must, the dark jeans. Must. Stop, you're too fabulous. I can't even stand it. <laughs> I'm blinded by your fabulousness. Um, so I would always highly recommend being on the email list. I want to thank all of you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week, which will actually be Valentine's Day. Aww. How exciting is that? Have a wonderful week. Thanks, guys. Bye.